Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where we're gonna set this inactive mat to explode. So we can get through and not have to try to shimmy our way up, or, I don't know, for heaven's sake, use our power armor looking stuff to push something over. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah. Just shepherd's like, whoa. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering be, his ass. That'd be startling. Well, and I was initially like, you know, oh, well, maybe he really did. Maybe he was like, you know. <sighs> These newer ones were just dumped here. The hunters started fighting back. Yeah. Looks like it. Nope, can't save. <clears throat> ah! No shield. <clears throat> Jacob's gonna die. Obviously taking this really hard, you know. out. In 
interesting that we can't, uh, he can't hear us, you know? Because, uh, he'd be, I don't know, I don't even think he can see us. Otherwise, he'd probably be like, oh, Jacob, my son. How I have missed you, you know? I mean, they could have had a pretty dang good thing going here, except for the food, you know? It's like, it was, but why couldn't they eat, like, the animals? Like, go just get the animals. <laughs> get out of here, Katomi. Poking. Yeah, go on. Alert. Jacob using his shotgun? Jacob, they are way too far away for you to be using your shotgun. Get over here. Get over here. Oh my gosh, do I have... Am I using... Uh... What? Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. I don't, I don't think it, oh my gosh, look at that. Wah. Looks like a bullet. I'm afraid you'll have to fight through them. Oh boy. Can I save? Let's do that. Let's save. Yep, we got too dangerous, so now he's trying to get out. But why are his guards fighting us? Like, I don't, like, why can't he just, it took years to train my guards. Like, that indicates not good things about you as a person. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, go! Oh, go! I forgot you were here. You're so useless. Oh. You're not. I'm just Jacob, you're useless. Okay, you might as well. Ah. Well, I've got plenty. Ah. Ow. Ow. Enemy ah. I guess if I could take the bat. That'd be nice, but there's a bit too many of them back there. Kasumi's dead. Come back, Kasumi. It's because she's fighting the dang that mech. Here, go cloak. Cloak on it. Okay, we're ready. So we can. What did he say? to brainwash some of the male guards into helping him 
It looks like, I guess. But he said something about wanting to go home. The fact that it took years to train his guards, like, that right there, just kind of, that he said that, kind of seals his fate to me, I don't know. That's just me. Acting like some king guru guy over here. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't here to talk to you. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal it's been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? <laughs> Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. Yeah, he's basically... You, otherwise, he'd be overjoyed to see his son, right? But knowing his son's gonna see him like this... Kind of interesting that he pegged me as the, in, as the one in charge. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some uh -oh. even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, they protocol, look so creepy. I couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Oh, okay. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. Anders? He had an accident. Oh, I didn't realize! Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. Yeah. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. This has got to be really hard for Jacob. I think he looked up to his dad, even if they had, like, a strained relationship. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. Yeah. Especially in a vulnerable state, you know? You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. Yeah, like he... Oh, 
Oh shoot, I uh, uh I think there's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. A price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Oh, shoot. Okay, I think I did, uh... I think you can leave him here, but I think we... I think the people here deserve better than that, too, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like my shepherd would. I think me, personally, I'd be like, leave him here, you know? But he will answer for what he's done in the boundaries of civilization which he chose to abandon, but he forced the ch that abandonment on the people, and all they wanted was to get back home. So we're gonna judge him according to those laws. You could, though, say that as like a like, they deserve to kill him too, I think. Like, he deserves to be ripped apart by them, you know, for what he did. But, uh. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have 10 to think about. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. treated by alliance personnel with additional server support so it was but it was an alliance funded colony ship barrier jacob got a new outfit how's it going jacob that would be hard i think there is gonna be psychological it's not gonna just be easy like it's not like he gets closure now on his dad he has to deal with the fact that like his dad did horrible things and turned into the kind of monster that he tries to prevent that Jacob tries to prevent like it's not gonna be easy he's gonna have some issues for a while but like he didn't like forgive his dad there he was like let him let him either let him die or you know let him ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew commander We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Right. We can't we can't be around when Alliance comes around. Don't even give them the tail lights. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> we are like not having it. it. Wasn't We're not having the Alliance crap. Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gurns back, I would be smiling at your resolution <laughs> of the situation. I am not smiling. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Oh, um... I do not remember what I... Because that's not nice. Was this supposed to be a favor, or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. <laughs> Shepard, Jacob. Aww. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. People can change, like, drastically. Like, he was probably a good man at one point, but every person has that potential inside them to become what Captain Taylor became, you know? It's whether or not you're able to overcome that person. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No... She's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she made. <laughs> Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. No, I was actually really bummed about that. 
I was like, I think Miranda really likes Jacob, like, in her own way. Like, I think that they just see him as friends. But the way she kind of looked at him and then looked away, like, I was like, oh, like, maybe there is something there. She was kind of hoping that Jacob, because he's, like, her partner, understands her. And we read in the Shadow Broker thing that she's actually really, really wanting, like, intimate company. Like, she's, I think she's, very, for an ice queen, or what I, quote, quote, she's very lonely. And so, Jacob gets her. He under, he's been with her for a long time. And I think Jacob's selling himself short. Maybe he's not as, like, I don't know. I think if Miranda wanted to be with him, it'd be fine. And he just needs to accept the fact that he could be a good man for her. But at the same time, it's like, she is not high maintenance in a bad way, but she's high maintenance, like, highly intelligent, extremely beautiful. Like, she's, right? You know what I mean? It's just Miranda, right? And, like, maybe an everyday guy like Jacob either would feel constantly... And Jacob's not an everyday guy, but he feels like himself. He feels like he's an everyday guy, right? And maybe in the company he keeps... He's, quote, an everyday guy, but he's an extraordinary individual, so I think he's selling himself short. Come on, we've got work to do. Hi, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. He is attractive. I like his shoulders, I won't lie. Anytime, Jacob. But I know his romance goes kind of weird. Like, or it's, it's a little bit weird if you... I don't know if in two, in two it might be alright, but in three it kind of goes to a weird place. Alright, Jacob. We can finally chit-chat. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. I Maybe appreciate getting a flag off my map. But I'm glad it's done. What do you need? Alright, I think the investigative stuff is good. What do you think of the state of the crew? Yeah, unless all distractions ah, okay. are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Run this team through hell, and all we're getting is burned. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Commander? All right, so interesting. I'll have to come back and poke him on that when, uh... I think we were talking about... I understand you made quite an impact. <sighs> like I said, it was where the whole thing was hushed, like they're good at doing. But I know what I did. How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Felt good to take that collection, <laughs> but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. May as well be out in airlock. Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? Oh, okay. I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. I but do like later. I like how we'll blunt he is, you know? Commander. I do feel like Shepard is, like, consistently flirty to him, though, and I'm like, I don't know why you're doing that. <laughs> that is not the way I... Oh. From Mr. Ganak Ishal. Oh, is this, um. Wait, no. No. Esqua. Dear sir or madame, having consulted with. Dear sir or madame. So this is like a junk email. Having consulted with my colleagues at Citadel, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer a large quantity of protein technology and cover to Islas. <gasps> Believing these materials to be a hazardous danger, they were locked in quarantine. Even though the test revealed that they have fears were groundless, the quarantine remains in effect until one can pay for a permit to request a class reclassification from the cultural ministry. Knowing of your interest in protein technology, I would be happy to deliver most of it into your hands, keeping less than half for myself. As a Batarian, oh, I cannot engage in council official activities, but if you transfer the 27 credits required to me, this exchange could be made in your name, enabling us both to profit from this happy accident. What? That's like the most polite Batarian I've ever read. Also, but he doesn't know if I'm a male or a female? Like, why? How does he even know who I am? Like, or she? I've never met a female Batarian. You see female Solarians, and you see female Krogan, and you see female Turians in Mass Effect 3. I do not think you ever see a Batarian female. Alright, Jacob! I mean, uh, J Joker! <laughs> Let's go see if something funny happens up here. Bum, 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 bum. That, um, the stuff with Jacob's dad, it's bullshit, right? Because it looked like bullshit to me. <laughs> it looked like bullshit to me. Oh, I don't think I came up here and poked him 
Did I poke him after Thane's? I think I, I did, but he didn't, he didn't say anything. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was, Joker. Have no fears. Let's see. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, Jacob is way too right. nice. Not like Kasumi, but it's just my opinion. That's though, it for me? now. See you, Commander. Bye, Joker. Um, let's see, so we don't need to talk to. Look at her; she's like stuck looking to the right. That's weird. That's weird. You look like a little alien. Oh, maybe I should go feed my fish. Commander, you received a new no, message at your private No, I read title. it. And I'm going up to my room, so I'll check again. Mom. It's the captain's cabin, but I'm a commander. Fishies! No, I love how it goes to black. I need to get a hamster, too. Frog Raider was saying that they're really cute. No, I don't. Not Kasumi. Uh, whatever your name is. I really like in Skyrim. I really like in Skyrim that you can just like sit in any like random chair you want. You can like lay in like any bed as long as it's not like belonging to somebody else. I wish I could just put plants in here. That'd be nice. <laughs> My poor fishies. All right, now we gotta do Miranda's mission, which is fine, which is good. Miranda's is cool. Who will we bring with us? She's another biotic, so I should probably bring uh, more. Maybe I'll bring Morden this time. Haven't brought Morden out in a while. No messages for Yay! you. Yay! That's just so great. Oh, what do I have? Oh my gosh, how many points did I get? Did I get two? Oh, just one. Okay. I don't. Wait, no, I want to redo flashbang grenade. And I want to save up for an ammo. Uh, yes, it's this one. Prototypes. Heavy weapon ammo. Oh, score! I didn't realize. Okay. Prototype. Retrain powers or cast the bonus ability. Obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers? I think because I did that already, the game lets me have... Uh, Whatever I want. I think I'm gonna try energy drain. Frog Raider is saying that that's a, that's a really good one to have. For a Vanguard especially. That looks like it's a, it's a tech ability. That's cool. Okay, I can get behind that. So, let's see. Oh shoot, <laughs> I could like, I could like, I could like do incendiary ammo or something. Uh, oh, but I, ha I did it, oh. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll just chuck it in an energy drain and see how that goes. Okay. Yay. Don't say it. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at this planet really quick. Oh, 2175 AR2. What's 2175? That's like something, isn't it? Isn't that? It's like a video game something. Still formally unnamed, this planet is a hydrogen helium gas giant with 21 moon sides. Okay, but the fact that Anders was in the that was kind of interesting. That was cool. Anders was like that the name Anders was in 
He was like, oh yeah, Anders got his conscience a bit too late. I was like, oh my gosh, he did, didn't he? <laughs> Except he didn't. Anders did not regret what he did. I think he did in some ways, but he didn't. That's, <laughs> we're not gonna win my day. <laughs> we're not gonna win my day in this game. Uh, is this, does this have anything good on it? Nope, it's a poor planet. I'll at least get something off of it, maybe. Yay, it's a palladium. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this one. I appreciate it. Um, and next we'll go do Miranda's, finally, which will be nice. <laughs> it feels like it's been ages with these people, and I haven't talked to them, so it would be nice to get their missions done so I can talk to them. But anyway, thank you again. I will see you in the next one.